Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Verbling. This is Teacher Oakley talking to you live from the beach. We're going to have a conversation today, practice our English speaking skills, and talk about the beach. First of all, what are you going to bring to the beach? I always must have my shades at the beach. You betcha. Okay, here's another thing I'm always going to bring to the beach. Plenty of water. Definitely. Okay. Uh, join me and we'll talk about life at the beach, uh, beach related terms, vocabulary, and we'll just have an open ended, fun discussion about what you do at the beach or what beaches you go to, what activities do you like to do at the beach, and maybe, just maybe, we'll take a little tour, I'll walk up the hill and we'll go visit the beach. Uh, hello, hello, hi Julio. Hello teacher, what's up? Hey, <clears throat> how much, you, you like my shades? Ah, cool, you're ready yeah. to roll. Get ready to rock and roll, definitely. Yeah. Uh, conversation class about the beach. Whoa. Wasu? Hello, teacher. Hello, Wasu. I'm okay. It's a little. I'm great, thank you. How are you? Fine. It's a little bit of a strange feedback sound. I have no idea what that is. Uh, Wasu, well, so you have the verbling window open. Uh, please close it. I don't think that, I'm not sure if that's it though. It's just odd sound. I don't know what that is. Whoa. Uh -oh. It is getting louder. It's getting closer. There we go. Well, all right. Okay, you can mute yourself until it's time to talk. All right, let's, we're going to go to the beach today. Let's first talk about what do we need to bring to the beach. Uh, in my introduction, I had mentioned I'm definitely going to, first of all, bring my shades to the beach. Absolutely. I'm also going to bring plenty of water. It gets hot at the beach. Definitely. Uh, Wasu, what else are you going to bring to the beach? What do you bring to the beach? Do you ever go to the beach? Yes. I um the mat. What? A map. A map? Mat. M A T. M A T. Oh, okay. A mat. Okay. A ball. All right. Some okay, I understand. Some people bring a, a mat so that they don't get all sandy or Towels, at least. Sure. Okay. Um, at first, I thought you said a map. And I was thinking, wow, okay. Wasu is like Dora the Explorer. you got to bring a map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. I'm the map. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Wasu, have you ever seen Dora the Explorer? I don't know. Have you ever have you ever seen Dora? Dora the Explorer? No. No? You're not familiar with that? You can Google it later. You can look on YouTube. Is it, you'll see Dora the Explorer. Is it my idea or Dora the Explorer? She's a uh, Latina? Yeah, of course. Of course she is. She teaches English and Spanish simultaneously to small children. That's correct. Ah, uh, that's cool because uh, yeah, well, this here in Mexico she teaches uh, English, and there is another guy. It's uh, Diego. The I don't know what. Go Diego. I yeah, think. yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, he's also involved with maps. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, in the United States, Dora teaches Spanish to English-speaking kids. So, it's cool. All right. Okay. Uh, hi, Ken. Are you really here? OK. 
can. I, I had. I, I had wicked problems. I had really pro big problems opening the class. Did you? Did you gentlemen have problems getting into the hangout at all? So sorry. Yeah, I have a sound problem. So me too. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, me too. I can open the class. My computer's problem. My computer's uh, sound is uh, turned to be zero after the repair, so I couldn't hear you. Ah. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Well, I had some difficulties with the Hangout. Anyway, uh, hi, Ken. Hey, hello. How are you? Good. Ken, do you ever go to the beach? Yeah, a lot, because I close to the I live close to the beach. Oh, very convenient. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, all right, you probably don't have to pack up a lot to go to the beach. What do you yeah. bring to the beach? Um, nothing. <laughs> nothing. Uh, because you know, Ken. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> Ken doesn't even bring clothes to the beach. All right. Ah, yeah. Ken, Ken a swimwear, yes. clothes, Google goggles. Swimwear. Okay. All right. You, so you don't Snowboarding? go skinny dipping. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, usually, uh, you know, because of the global warming, you know, summer here is getting hotter and hotter. So I avo avoid going to beach. Uh, you know, in the day daytime, I go to the beach. Before sunset. Uh, no, oh, really? No, sure, no. I like. Can, yeah. Do you ever swim in the ocean at night? At, not at night. Uh, before sunset. Okay. <laughs> but you never go at night. No, because nighttime no. swimming is a bit dangerous, actually. Why? Because it, I love swimming invisible. at night. <laughs> Usually, the beach side, you know. <laughs> The beautiful beachside is in the countryside, so there's no yeah. light. So it's yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So it's cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm at the beach this week. I've been um, because it's almost a full moon. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. It's I I like swimming on a full moon night. It's cool. Mm, I see. Yeah, that's that's a nice idea. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, when you first said you don't bring anything to the beach, I mentioned skinny dipping. Can do you know what skinny dipping is? Like in sun English? tan lotion? No. 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 <laughs> no. Skinny dipping is when you swim with no clothes at all, uh -huh. naked. Full Monty. Yeah. Okay. In the, in the raw, completely nude, naked. Okay. Uh -huh. That's called skinny dipping. When you swim like that, mm -hmm. have you ever been skinny dipping, Ken? Tell us the truth. It's okay. Um, we don't judge. <laughs> I I've never. Uh, my friend asked me to, you know, if we go to the very kind of isolated be uh, mm -hmm. beach, but yeah. I was embarrassed to do that, so I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I was afraid of jellyfish, you know. Jellyfish. A lot of jellyfish in the summertime in the beach here, so right. You know, biting jellyfish, uh, you know, that's such, such, you know, <laughs> that's right. Dangerous, so. there are parts of your body you don't want to have stung yeah. by a jellyfish, right? Certainly, yeah. Jellyfish don't really bite; they sting. A the sting, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I heard that uh, if a if a jellyfish stings you, you have to pee on the wound. Mm. I heard that too, and actually that works. Actually, I I did that. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I can tell I, that works. That's actually mm. true. It does work. Have you ever been stung by a jellyfish, Julio? Uh no, never. Never. No, uh, no, no. We don't have that in here. Well, at least not in the in the beach near my house. I guess okay. they they are everywhere, but no, I I have never run into a jellyfish. Uh, I hope it stays that way. Uh, it's a weird sensation. It's like burning and stinging at the same time. It's a very strange sensation. Mm -hmm. It's like a bee sting, and but it's also burning, like somebody burnt you with a match or something. It's weird. Ca 
can, can you can you see them uh, when you are on the beach? I mean, are there are they visible? They are like yeah. well, there's many. You know, there's many different kinds. There are some that are pretty much as you say, pretty much they're in. You can see them because they're white colored, but others are pretty much invisible. Yeah. The two times I got stung, I never saw the jellyfish that stung me. Never saw them. Never, never saw them. So, but I, I certainly knew I was stung when I was stung. <laughs> yeah. yeah, jellyfish kind of all shapes and sizes. There's, there's jellyfish here, but they're really, really tiny. They're, they're like this yeah. big, and they're they're green color, and uh, they. Oh look, we we have a guest. Hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, <laughs> I'm outside. That's that's my brother-in-law's father. It's typical old Filipino guy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> totally. Yeah, totally. No idea what's going on. Okay. Anyway. Uh. Anyway, they have tiny ones here, but they don't really do anything. They don't. Some people are allergic and they may get a rash, but they don't do anything to me, so I just ignore them. But, you know, there's jellyfish and then there's jellyfish. There's the big ones, which I, th I thought they had in Mexico. I know they're in the Caribbean because I've seen them in the Caribbean. Which side are you on, Julio? Pacific side or... or uh, I'm, uh, I'm uh, in front of the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico. Okay. Well, I know there's jellyfish there. <laughs> the big ones, they're um, they're really scary. Portuguese man of war. They look, looks like a helmet. Looks like a Spaniard's helmet, and they have a little fold that comes up, like a Spanish guy, like uh, an old time Spanish helmet. Those things are scary. Those things can really hurt you, paralyze you, so you drown because you can't move. I've seen one of those in real life, like an arm length away, and I just swam away and scared that scared me. Actually, okay, Julio, what do you what do you bring to the beach? Um, alcohol. Alcohol. Okay. Some ladies. Some ladies. Towel. Bikinis. Towel. Towel and um, my sandals. Ah, yeah. Sunscreen. Sunscreen. Um, I was hoping someone would say that. Very important. And uh, money. You need money when you are on the beach. There are people. You do. Selling, yeah, there are people selling all kinds of stuff. You can buy ah. ice cream. Uh, uh, coconut water. Um, okay. And Bolovanes, that's what we call it here, Bolovanes. I think you don't have that there. What's that? It's, uh, uh, Boloban, it's, uh, it's uh, made of like a dough, but, um, but I, I don't know, I don't know the word, just like crispy. It's like a, it's a square shaped crispy. It's in a pastry? Yeah, it's, uh, it's in a pastry, yeah. Oh and yeah, it ha it has a, it is a stuff with chicken or uh, fish, sometimes okay. pineapple or ham and cheese. Okay, yeah, they have. I I've been to Jamaica and they have those, and a lot of times it's like curry, curry goat, or curry chicken, like that. Sometimes ham and cheese. Yeah. I will show. I will show you. I, I will show you a thing. picture. Yeah, I have okay. here uh, right now. It's uh, the bowl of ban is very popular in Mexico. Yeah, I, I I'm talking about the the ones that are on the top uh, left bowl of the bowl. picture. They are square. Oh, okay. Square shape. Yeah, okay. Square shape. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. <laughs> I don't know if those are the same thing I would think of. 
The ones I've had in Jamaica, they're in a pastry. They're square, but they cook uh, like chicken and potato, and it's curry flavor, like yellow curry. It's good. But they sell them at the beach, too. I don't know why, but it's the beach food. Okay. Uh, and, of course, uh, you have to bring your okay. swimsuit. Okay. Do you... And, of course, your swimsuit, of course. What kind of uh, alcohol do you bring? Um, uh, I ice. bring Ron, Ron and Rum. yeah, Coke, Ron and Coke, and we make uh, a drink that we call uh, Cuba, una Cuba or Cuba. You you want to say that it's pretty much rum with Coke and ice. Okay. Bacardi. All right. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Well, one thing you definitely need is ice. Lots of ice. Lots and lots of ice. And a cooler. You guys didn't mention a cooler. Do you bring it to the beach? Oh, uh, yeah. Of course. Right? Yeah, so uh, sometimes. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it's just uh, kind of difficult to be carrying the cooler around. Uh, I don't go. I don't go by car because I live very close to the beach, so I just walk. And uh, I don't want to take my car there because you cannot take you cannot take your car on the beach. You have to park it like yeah. a few blocks away. Um, I'd rather walk. Yeah, that's pretty normal everywhere. They don't let you drive on the beach anywhere. Uh, yeah. Have you ever brought a, a watermelon? Have you ever filled a watermelon with vodka or rum? <laughs> no. You should try uh, that. We used to do something similar with oranges. Uh, when you go to the stadium to a soccer game, they don't let you uh, take alcohol with you. Right. So we, we use a syringe and we yeah. shot the orange with with Ron or tequila sometimes. Okay, very good. Well, same, in theory, the same idea with the watermelon. It's very good. It soaks into the watermelon. So when you eat the watermelon, woo! But, uh, and you don't really, you don't even taste the alcohol anymore because the watermelon just soaks it up. It's great. Delicious. And, and it works very well for exactly as you say, going to places where there's no alcohol allowed. So you can just... Oh, I'm going to a fest like a music festival. I oh, just got my watermelon. I'm gonna go hang out at the uh, festival. I once saw a commercial. They were selling like a it's some kind of container, kind of like a bag that you you use it like if it were if it were your uh, your belly, your gut. Oh, okay. And, yeah. And, <laughs> You wear your shirt on, and you, you, you just look it. like you have a big, a big belly, and you can drink okay. out of that. Yeah. Great. That's that's great. What a great idea. Makes you look like you have a beer gut. You look smaller after you leave. Crazy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I they, right. even, they 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 were even selling one of those for women, and it was like a. Like it's kind of shaped like breast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not making that up. I'm not making that up. It's true. It's true. No, I believe you. I just I've never seen that before or heard of that, but totally logical, genius idea. Okay, all right. Yeah, here in the Philippines, they where I am now is very remote. Nobody's selling anything on the beach. But if I go to more populated areas, food. Ice cream, uh, trinkets like uh, jewelry made of coral or seashells, of course, like souvenirs. Uh, Ken, do they sell things on the beach in Japan? Uh, yeah, it's kind of. Uh, how can I say? Temporary summer house is open uh, at the beach in the su at summertime, and the kind of uh, yeah curry, yeah curry is served in a restaurant or some warm warm. Uh, not only the ice cream and some warm, you know, food. 
because after the long time dipping in the sea, sometimes some people feel uh, cold. So warm, warm dishes are also available, as well as ice cream or you know, watermelon kind of thing. And a lot of you know kind of restaurant or kind of tea lounge or cafe nowadays are available at the beach side. You know, people enjoy the beach view uh, from that cafe too, or restaurant. Ah, oh, okay. Nice. Sounds quite civilized. Where I am, it's just a beach. Uh, there's some... Here we have what are called kubos. They're made out of bamboo and grass. Uh, you can see that Julio's showing me giant beer belly or giant breast beer containers. <laughs> Great. No, I've never seen that before. All right, that's a new one. Interesting. But I, I, I prefer go to the kind, such a kind of beach in in the in the kind of not so many people can't go. No, no uh -huh. I don't like such a commercial commercial beach because usually the commercial beach water is not so clear. If I want to go to ah, the right. kind of beautiful ocean or scenery. Or, Clear water. I need to go. I know because I know a lot of beach around here, so I know some uh, spot which has a clear uh, water or nice environment. So usually I go there. And com in terms of commercial beach, I go there in different season and autumn or uh, spring by jog or uh, you know walking. Mm -hmm. yeah. When there's no one around. Yeah, you prefer more remote and isolated. Yeah, yeah. if I uh, want to swim. Yeah. Sure. Okay. What's the What's the beach like near where you live, Ken? Is it mm -hmm. uh, very calm usually? Are there um, Is there a lot of Is there a heavy surf? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, part, um, I, my area is uh, kind of Japanese Ocean side, so uh -huh. compared with Pacific Ocean side, the tide is low. In the winter time, sometimes uh, tide tide is high, but uh, usually tide uh, stays calm uh, in other season. So uh, wind surfing, some wind surfing spot, but the surfing spot, uh, it seems like there's no enough. Uh, the tide is high enough for surfing. So surfer go to Pacific Ocean side beach. Yeah. Okay. Is there a heavier surf? Yeah. Okay, just the waves coming in is called the surf. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes uh, breakers, you know, if you say there are, for example, um, two meter breakers, then mm -hmm. you're talking about waves that are, you know, two meters mm -hmm. tall. Uh, or, mm -hmm. of course, just waves in English. Yeah, I've never yeah, seen a two meters wave here, actually. Really? Yeah, except where, Typhoon Day. Because Typhoon I Day, I don't approach to the ocean because it's you, dangerous. You don't go to the beach on a Typhoon yeah. Day? Yeah. Why not, Ken? Some, some stupid surfer dare to surf Typhoon Day for the, that such high tide. So yeah. <laughs> I found one news, they were rescued after that. They were rescued? <laughs> <laughs> That's dangerous, okay. yeah. Yeah, the the surf here varies from at one meter to like three meters if there's a good bit of wind. It's yeah. a pretty heavy, fair, you know, fairly good surf here. Uh, heavy surf. The breakers are pretty big when they roll in where I am. Uh, definitely. And uh, okay, uh, I have actually I have gone to the beach uh, in a typhoon where the, the breakers were more like. Mm, four meters, say, over your, yeah. well over your head, twice the size of, of a human, like, yeah. It's exciting, Ken. But, but it's very, actually, yeah. yes, it's the ridiculously dangerous. Is strongly, unbelievably yes, huge. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it's very difficult to struggle out of the waves. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I know. I'm not kidding either. Plus, there's a lot of stuff floating in the water, like big logs and pieces of wood mm -hmm. that can right. whack you in the head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, very dangerous. Julio, what's the water like where where you are? Is it calm, blue water? Is it 
green color? Is it dark color? What what's the color? Is it very choppy or very smooth? What's it like? Uh, I guess it depends on the weather, but most of the time it's very smooth. Uh, the water it's uh, brown. Sorry, the sun is brown. It's not like in those places like Cancun or Acapulco when you get this uh, white or light colored water. It's pretty much brown. Uh, sorry about. I'm talking about the sun. Sorry. And the water, it's uh, bluish. Sometimes it gets a little bit green. And mm -hmm. beaches here are pretty clean. But you have, uh, in some places, you have this, like, the sewer. Very close. You have to what? The, uh, I think I didn't pronounce that right. The sewer, sewer. Seawall. Seawall? No. I said, like, the. When you go to the bathroom and you. Sewer. Sewer. <laughs> sewer. Ah, yeah, you say sewer. Sewer. Oh, yeah. When you go to the bathroom, yeah. I said the sewer. Sewer. Yeah, I was pretty much pronouncing it like in Spanish, but yeah, the sewer. We have, okay. we have the sewer very close to the beach in some places. And uh, it's a bit disgusting. Yeah, you yeah. have terrible smell. Yuck. Yeah, you, you might you might found some strange brown thing <laughs> floating. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you don't You're want right. to find out. You don't want to find out what's that. You just yeah. leave it alone and go to a different part of the beach. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That <laughs> yeah, I can see your face. Yeah. Completely disgusted. Yeah, yeah. I, it's not a place I would swim. Definitely not. <laughs> I don't think so. Now that you know the thing, the thing you mentioned the sand. Um, the sand here is white. Some of it's white to white to gray. You know, gray sand color, but uh, usually more white. But really, unfortunately, sadly, indeed. About one kilometer, I think, up the beach, there is a Korean. I'm not sure. I keep getting a different answer. Either a Korean company or or a Chinese company, or maybe a combination of both. I'm not sure, but they are mining bitumen. You guys know what bitumen is? Bit bitumen, uh, like a vitamin. That's different. Yeah, well, it sounds very I think this, I spelled it right in the chat box, bitumen. What it is, it's the oh. uh, the black part of asphalt when they make a road and it's, you know, black top. Oh, that, I see. It helps, it's that sticky black residue that kind of sticks together. It's like gluey substance. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Asphalt. Yeah, asphalt. it's basically a part of asphalt. Asphalt mm -hmm. has other things in it. It's, I think sand, and uh, I'm not sure mm -hmm. all, but bitumen is what makes it black, and it's very sticky. It sticks to everything. Well, very sadly, where I'm currently staying on vacation, they are mining it, and they are basically strip mining it off the beach, or off the sand on the sandbar by the beach. So they're just dragging this stuff into the water. So all the beaches now have like a black coating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of gross, disgusting, it's really sad. It really can't be good for the wildlife, you know, the sea creatures mm -hmm. or whatever. And it's, it's you know, I go swimming and it's, you can't see it in the water. It's not, you don't really notice it. But then when you walk up, back to, you know, off out of the water onto the beach, the black vitamin, I guess it is, kind of sticks to your ankles and sticks to your feet, and uh, you have to wash it off. By the way, it's kind of disgusting. It's really I sad. Guess, uh, I guess uh, I guess it's in, it's in the water, probably it's settled down 
on the bottom, so you don't yeah, really I, see it. I think so. Yeah, I think that's right. And but then it washes like, onto the beach. It's like this. It's like a thin coating of asphalt on the beach. Oh, yeah. Really, not something you want <laughs> on a beach. You know, in a very natural area. It's kind of, kind of a drag, actually. And it makes me mad because there's not even any. I went to go look at it, and there's not even any Filipinos working there. There's only whoever. It's not even Philippine. It's not for Philippine roads. It's for Korea or China or something. They're just basically stripping the land, polluting the heck out of the beaches for miles, kilometers down the beach, and then when they're done, goodbye. Okay, thank you very much. I don't know. The world we live in, you know. What can you say? Teacher, talking about talking about uh, the beach uh, and the ocean. Yeah. Uh, I I've been I've been I've been seeing the news lately, especially CNN, and the only thing that they talk about is about the flight 370, Malaysian yeah. airplane that oh crashed yes. into the water. Well, it's it's gone. I mean, they don't even know where it is. They are deploying like these submarines and radar and stuff to find it, and they are they are just clueless about it. Do you think they are going to find it any soon? No, I think it's going to be like the Titanic, and they're going to find it in seventy or eighty years. <laughs> it's way down there. It's very deep there, right? It's I don't know, thirty-five thousand or three thousand. I don't know. It's deep. <laughs> they they were three, saying they were saying, meters or? just to give us an idea that it will be like looking for for I don't know like a soda can in in Chicago with the lights <laughs> off in complete in complete dark. So. Okay. The uh, the normal phrase stupid dog. Normal phrase in English, an idiom is a needle in a haystack. This would be a kind of a normal, uh, recognized idiom for sure. They, and it's not that it's not perfectly okay to make a different. Uh, uh, that's called a simile. Um, actually, it's called an analogy. It's like those kinds of things. It's like looking for a soda can in Chicago with no lights. All right. Yeah, you could make any number of analogies, of course. Ooh, I've got company behind me. I've had to, I'm rem I'm remote. I'm nowhere near where I normally am because of the simple fact that here in the Philippines, um, there is a party. Easter is next Sunday, and uh, everybody, nobody works. Thursday, Friday, Saturday is a big party, and Sunday everybody goes to church, but... Uh, I can't be anywhere near where I sit. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. <laughs> Gonna have to leave. Gonna have to put on my shades and go to the beach. Okay. Uh, anyway, I'm nowhere near them because Whoa. there's a huge party going on. <laughs> Shut up. What's wrong with yeah. that dog? Don't the dog is this. This dog is chained up, and there's two other dogs antagonizing him, <laughs> staying just that's out of his. That's room. something interesting. Maybe you can show him. Huh? I'm at a construction site. Here, there's a stupid dog. Can you see him? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, I can see. Well, him. White, dog. Bonehead. white dog, yeah. Freaking out. I'm at a construction site here. Uh, I'm far away from everyone. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, they're having a huge party. It's a three day party Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I woke up at 6 30 this morning and somebody handed me a bottle of brandy. Uh, I was like, no. It's 6 30 in the morning. I'd like coffee first, please, before I start drinking brandy. Yeah, anyway. Okay. Uh, okay. 
This dog is driving me crazy, so I'm going to put on my shades, guys, and we're going to take a little trip to the beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh, some skin. <laughs> some skin. Some lady. <laughs> okay. Uh, here are the mountains behind me. Uh-oh. As you can, maybe, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, it it's, like uh, it's going to rain. Looks like it's a storm like coming. It sure does. <laughs> Run! It's a typhoon! <laughs> <laughs> you don't see this in verbally every day. Okay. No. Uh, now we're, we're kind of walking out to the beach here. It's it's quite a hike, actually. I know I never seen that effect. Yeah, when you when when you see the sun on the webcam, it looks black. Yeah. Black <laughs> Does it? Yeah. I yeah, it's kind of creepy. Yeah. Time to be black. Yeah. Glad I could share that with you then. Okay. Cool. Oh my God, we're never gonna get to the beach. Okay, if I if I hold you up, you can see the ocean though. Uh oh, I'm gonna get wet. I'm very far. Where I'm, where I'm staying is way over there. Okay, that group of houses over there. But I, they're very very noisy. Extremely. So anyway, okay. Oh, you can start to see the ocean now. Can you? What time? What time is it? Yeah. What time is it in the Philippines? It's um. I think four forty-five. Yeah, four. Yeah. Uh, yeah, almost five o'clock. Here, sun is almost setting. Probably, yeah, twenty minutes later, sun sets. But the Philippines, you can enjoy sunset after this. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're one hour. What time is it there? Uh, here is a uh, five, uh, five uh, one, one hour. Yeah, one hour. Yeah. Okay, we're approaching the beach now. We're getting there. You can see what I mean about the breakers coming in. All right, uh... Obviously, I've been traversing like this dune area. This is basically a sandbar that separates. There's a river over mm -hmm. much closer to where I started. So it's a, just a big bar of sand I'm on, and then the sandbar ends, and here we are, the beach part. As you can what? see, mm -hmm. there's like no one around here. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And this is a holiday weekend. Okay, this is a big summer holiday here. Mm. There's nobody here. <laughs> and what, what's what's the explanation? Because uh, 